Hello, Keith Rock here at BenjaMachinery.org. So, I don't do a whole lot of product reviews on my channel. Um, you know, I, I try new things and stuff all the time, but I got something in the mail the other day uh, from a company that's actually just right down the road from me in Valdosta, Georgia called Easy Thread. And they make a little uh, product here that's a little, it's basically a 60 degree um, diamond coated um, burr that you can put in a die grinder or rotary tool or whatever. It's made for cleaning up threads. And uh, the owner of the company, uh, we hooked up with one another. He said, hey, I'm gonna send you a couple of these. Try them out sometime when you get a chance. Well, I got them in the mail this week. I said, well, you know, that's kind of cool. I'll do a video on that one day. Within just a couple of days, I run into a situation where <laughs> I think this is gonna save the day. So I was working on my LeBlanc lathe registration and there's an oil plug in the bottom of the head and it wasn't going up and all the way and I was actually leaking some oil through it. I pulled it out and this thing is just, the threads on it are just all boogered up. So we're gonna try out uh, one of these little easy thread tools uh, to clean this up and uh, see how it works. So uh, we're gonna zoom in here and show you what's going on. All right, I've got my, uh, number 382 uh, rotary tool here. I've got it mounted in just a little Dremel tool is what I'm gonna use. You could use an air powered uh, die grinder or whatever with this as well. Um, but let's, uh... according to the instructions, they say start in a good area and go across the bad area. My skill isn't as good as it probably should be. And it's just that easy. Um, I think that's probably cleaned up good enough. Someone looks like it hit on this thing with a hammer. Um, let's see if there's any other bad places on here. Eh, there, that right there. I'm gonna see if I can do something with that. So we got another little place here where it's coming out. I don't know that this really is gonna matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can clean it up as well. A little bit right here. I think we've done a pretty good job cleaning this up. The only thing is that last little thread where it's coming out, and I think I'm just gonna go over to the grinder and just kind of champ for that area out because it, it really doesn't matter anyway. Um, and it's, I don't really have a thread that I can follow to clean that up. But it looks like someone hit this with a hammer, uh, banged up the end, and when they did, they just rolled some of those threads over on the end. And that was causing this plug to not go up in far enough. And, uh, Instead of taking 30 minutes to run to town to buy a new plug, I thought we'd try to fix this one. So there you go, just a little quick video on a neat little tool called Easy Thread. Uh, you can find out more about them online at uh, www.easythread, that's the letter E, the letter Z, and then the word thread. 
www.ethanetwithgrace.com. Uh, and uh, these can be ordered through Amazon. And I think that little tool I was using, the 382, I looked at it up, I looked it up just a minute ago. It was about 20 bucks, a little less than 20 bucks for that one. Uh, and some, they have a whole line of these different tools. Uh, they have them for different size uh, threads. They got them for Acme threads. They got them for um, square threads. Uh, so you can, uh, you can get a lot of different ones of these. Uh, First time I've ever really used this tool, and uh, just full disclosure, they did send me a free sample to try out. I told them I'd give it a shot on video and let you guys know what I think about it, and um, uh, I'm, I like it. You know, I've, I've, I've had the old thread file. You, some of you guys have probably seen that tool before uh, that has the different threads per inch on it. Uh, I think this is probably a little bit quicker and easier, and uh, anyway. We're going to go put this plug in the, in the lathe and get back on the lathe restoration now. But go check them out, easythread.com. Uh, and if you like it, order them through Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you, uh, to a direct link to some of these if you want to order some. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.